Hey guys, here's another video of a subscriber review. This time on Drogos, Theo de Forenza. It's a really weird build, going for a lot of booster, which is not a great idea, especially against Makoa. Maybe against something that has a really low range of attack, like Sky. Maybe Victor, stuff like that. You could go for a booster and just keep yourself in the air, something that's hard to aim on. Um, as for this build, I am not really sure how that's gonna work. You see, he's playing, he has no tank and he's playing as a double tank with Maldamba. Uh, he decides to go for Blood Shield, which makes me think he's gonna fight a lot of Drogos and Eevee 1v1s instead of spamming the point on the Rikus and killing him off. So we'll see how that goes. Here he uses Salvo. Don't ever use Salvo. He did like no damage there. I was just a complete waste of time. See, now they're at 35% already. That was a really good fire spit. He doesn't move. He only moves like uh, to the sides, like strafing in the air and going forward and backwards. Uh, but as you can see, they have no way of going on the point because he doesn't have enough damage there. It's a good fire spit, it's just. He's just not getting anything done because Moldamba just up heals it. Here you can see, can get a nice fire spit, maybe knock someone off the edge. No, not quite. Another fire spit, another try. He didn't make it. He could have waited. There you go. Rackus fell off the edge. You can try another time. That's an okay reload. You can see what what you do is you hold your space bar. That's why you have the booster cards because you don't know how to manage it properly. I feel like um, what you can do instead is just tap it or like hold it in small little bursts for like 0 0.5 seconds. The ultimate there was completely unnecessary. The Rex was half HP and you had two of your teammates around. You could have just finished them off with two auto attacks. You just wasted ultimate there. You could have killed him with auto attacks and then ulti Makoa and then charge it back up for next point. And that would be much much better. Eh. Okay. Another salvo, I don't like that. Salvo did completely nothing. And you wasted 6 ammo and you wasted about 3 or 4 seconds of you being able to shoot the enemy. He was really low, you should go in, just like that, good job. Here you should fire spit before, uh, you should have anticipated that he wants to go on that victor, uh, but you didn't. And at this point what I want to point out to you is you don't really take 1v1s against that Drogos or Eevee. So that's because the Drogos and Eevee are the damage dealers for an enemy team. It doesn't mean you have to get Blast Shield. Those are AoE attacks. You can dodge them and you don't fight 1v1. You just spam the point, you're free to do whatever you want. You, you, you would better be off of picking Wrecker at that point, honestly. Right here, the Makoa hook bug, you could see him through the wall because of that. Another salvo. It didn't do anything. You would do much more damage with one fire speed than you did there with salvo. Right here, your team uses ultimate and you just killed the brackets. You should be really more aggressive and show your presence. Don't don't be don't be so far back. Good shot. You can hear Eevee behind you. That fire speed should be on the Eevee that went towards the right side behind you. Here, Rackus once again. It was behind the box. Should have shot. Okay. So right here, with that fire spit, we should have done. As you just used advance. So what's the point of shooting it here? If you shoot it above the box right here, it's still gonna do maximum damage. And if he's gonna go left or right, 
you will still hit him 100%. There's no reason to just go here and attempting that he's gonna actually advance into your shot. Here, if you got greedy, you, you walk inside of the ultimate. Okay, you got lucky there. Need to heal up. Okay, I'm not sure what that ultimate was for, but okay. Here's the Drogo's ulti. It's a good shot. Invisible wall. Yep. Here, survival would help you. Are you gonna die because of it? Oh, you should frost. There we go. You got one kill, which is fine. Oh, because he missed the hook, okay. There you go, you buy a card, and then again. You do not fight against EV or Drogos. So you, at this point, you wasted 900 credits. And you're playing against two tanks, and you have problem against their healing with Maldama. What you could have done is just go Moralbus instead. Moralbus and Wrecker would be so much better. Salvo, not doing anything. With one auto attack, you could have killed that Drogos, but with Salvo, you didn't do anything. A good shot on Moldamba. Good shot on Drogos. Fire speed not here. You got you got Makoa, but it was obvious that Drogos is backing off towards the ramp. Uh, here's a good ultimate by Grok. You missed the uh, the speed. That's a hard shot to do. Like hit it in the air like that. That's a good shot. But something to practice on. It's it's useful in all the situations. Right here. Okay, so right here, I assume the reason you use the fire spit over here, right here, is because you thought someone is behind there. Because if you would want to hit the Drogos, you should have just throw it at like middle of the uh, of the hill over here, and then wait for it. Just walk towards it instead of standing still. Just walk towards it and shoot it. But I assume you think someone is there, but there is no one because four people are dead. Something you need to pay attention towards. And you exploded before the payload anyway. Again, you just you just stay still when you shoot fires, but you need to move around. That dragon pan was really far away, you barely got to him. If you would anticipate your movement and back out straight away, as a tank player, you wouldn't get to him. It was way too far. Oh, that's a good push. Overall so solid attack, you got a lot of damage on that payload. And then there's a gro good Grok ultimate to slow everyone down, so you can get even more damage. And after that it just snowballed. It was pretty good. Right here, you realize that you can go morale boost, which is good. You play against two tanks and your ultimate is really good against tanks and they don't have a Fernando T or Wing clone to counter you. That's really important. You have any, you have no movement in the air because of you don't have a propel card. Something that's really important on Drogos as well. Right here you're waiting, I don't know what you're waiting for. Your Brackus was AFK, that's probably threw him the point I assume. Uh, good fire speed on Dragos. Um, kind of missed that, messed up that EV shot. That's okay, fire, that should be a fire speed. No, right now? No. Okay, so, right here, that's the game knowledge and map awareness. So right here, roll back a little bit. You can see EV soar away. And you can hear it coming here behind the wall. Like you can hear the sound of it. Right here. You should have just fire spit. Straight away. Right here. That shouldn't be an auto. That should be a fire spit. That would be 1k damage on easy. Just anticipate that movement. Then you missed it because you thought, thought she's gonna stay there. Here she's gonna blink back. No. If she has wormhole card and you hit her for 1000 damage. 
it's like 99% chance that she will blink back, so just spam the same spot where she blinked from. That would have been a pre-kill. There's a Drago's ulti. Fire spit. Nice shot. There's an Inklon. Kill them all down bottom point. Healers and tanks are your priority. Good fire spit. No reason to salvo. Completely worthless. Didn't do anything. It said 900 damage. That's all wrecker that you could have done with half the shot of your auto attack. Once again, you're so far away, and you lost track, okay? So, both tanks, if you listen to your sounds, like while you're ulting, you need to pay attention where they go to. I can hear Brackus, and he's like, to the left of the point right here. Makoa just used his shell spin to the left as well. Right here, you could have seen Rakers just dying and Grok getting hooked out of your sight. So I'm not sure if you decided right here, right here. I'm not sure if you decided to just not go for him, expecting your team to kill him, or did you actually not see him? But you end up wasting your ultimate. At this point where you die, you should have go. You should go for morale boost too. No reason to salvo. It took one thousand damage because you were trying to reload after salvo. Something really bad. That was a good shot. We shot an Eevee. Okay, right here. Okay. What you should do here. If you feel like you need to walk, right? And you need to regen as well. So you got that kill. Brilliant. Right now, instead of spamming, you have your fire speed of cooldown. Just drop down over here on the ground and throw it straight there, right? So instead of shooting, no. You should have just walked here on the point and throw fire speed all the way there. Your right, right click is not gonna put you in combat, so you're gonna be regenning while walking with your fire spit. And once fire spit gets enough distance to maybe hit something there, then you shoot. That way you regen at least to like 2k HP. Another salvo. What you gonna do? You did absolutely nothing. If you would shoot an alt attack into that position, you actually, I think, Aimed perfectly on that Rakus there. Right here. Right here. It was a little bit maybe above him, but you could shoot at least two or three rockets at him without attack. Instead, you did nothing. Don't do south, kids. That was a random kill on Maldamba, but good. Here, if you just blinked, she has she's an ice block. Good kill. Uh what you should do, at least what I do, is right here when you use fire spit, you reload. What I do is you shoot first and then you follow it up with a fire spit and shoot again. Because you can constantly animation your auto attack with a fire spit and then it's just, it's just faster and you have a potential more damage. You delay your fire spit by maybe 0.3 seconds or whatever. But, you know, it's pretty fast. You shoot at the same position where you just blink from. Good at the... Yep, good. <clears throat> she blinked to your allies, she will die there. Unless she blinks back where you're standing. Yeah, here's another ultimate. Really far away. That was good. You knew they're stopping the payload, so you needed to get them off the payload. Good shot. You could have tried fire spitting there. Maybe you weren't confident enough to hit it. 
You're just fine. <clears throat> Right here, instead of doing that, you could have just used fire spin instead of shooting the ice block. A little bit to the right of it to kill the Maldan by earlier. It's no big deal. Uh, once again, have a fire speed of cooldown. If it's a small target, you might as well use fire speed to hit her for a guaranteed 1000 damage. That's a good fire spit. One more. Salvo, no reason to salvo. You're gonna kill anyone? You won't. You waste three seconds of reload time. Fire speed, that was a little bit too high. It didn't do enough damage. Um, here you can see he's really low and over time was for a long time. If he dies, he's gonna go to shit. If he dies on the point. Yeah, right there. <clears throat> you should you should have been more aggressive with that. And not waste your time with Eevee. Okay, that was a good buy. Attack the objective. Give my head. You're doing the same thing again. Uh, you're standing still, you fire speed way too early. That was like on top of those boxes. Here, Rack is shooting you, you should have dropped straight down. Here, he died. He, that was a good shot on the point. Get that, uh, ult, uh, Akoa. I don't know if you had to use the ultimate there, you had point control advantage and he was half HP. You could have done that when he used the ultimate, then maybe, but there was no reason to ult him just yet, I feel like. Right here, you just you just need to be more aggressive, there's four of you just on this Rakus. And he buys so much time, you miss a lot of auto attacks as well. Okay. And here you're just not being aggressive enough. You are full HP, okay. Okay, you just preloaded salvo. Okay, right here. There's no reason for you to be in the air. Just drop down over here because you can hear Maldamba ulting. He's gonna be ulting to help him, hundred percent. There's no question about it. Just drop down over here. Safe zone, completely safe zone from that AOE. And you could have dropped down there and get a fire spit, and he would be dead. That would be a point control for you. Instead, just missed the shot. He got healed to full, and guys gonna lose the point. You preloaded the salvo. Keep in mind, his shield was already down and he just died. Your salvo? Completely useless. There's no shield on the line. That was a good double kill. Okay. Good fire spit. You're being way too passive. You need to go in. No, that should be a shot. He used it two advances. All right, Rakus was perma shooting. Let's watch it one again, once again. Rakus was perma shooting, and he was using advance, right? So let's see him coming to the point. Okay, right here, that was first advance. Right here, second advance. He recharges one more advance, and here it is. Advance backwards. He has not. He has no movement. There was no reason to use that fire spit there. Just shoot at him, and he will die. Hundred percent. Right here, you just wasted time without spamming. If you would get at that triple fire spit right here on the point, you could have easily get the ultimate and kill that Makoa. And right here, there's no one going on the point anymore. You get the ultimate, but Rakus is already back. You just wasted too much time. And there you go. There's a game lost right there. And Drox is trying to do whatever he can, but it's just over at this point. There was a lot of mistakes in the last point which you could have improved on. A lot of them. So yeah, I would definitely encourage you to watch the entire thing and maybe, you know, listen to like points and stuff like that.
because there's a lot of stuff. Number one, okay? Most important thing, do not use salvo. It's completely useless. There's so much more you can do than 250 damage to an enemy. So much more. Okay, never use it. Second one, be patient with your fire spit and make sure you hit it at the right time. Pause it right here. Make sure you hit it at the right time, at the right amount of enemies. Um, make sure you buy correct cards. Throughout the entire video, I think you 1v1 EV maybe twice. Maybe. Which means you wasted 900 credits that could be put somewhere else. Maybe even Haven against the Rakus. Who knows? Anything. Um, there you are in the chat. So yeah, a lot of mistakes, point out everything, uh, make sure watch the entire thing to you, and uh, for the rest of you, I hope you guys enjoyed it, see you in the next one.